second date update. If you want to guarantee a successful first date, how exciting does the activity need to be? Mm. I mean, we're talking hang gliding over an erupting volcano. Wow, I was thinking maybe going to a bar, Jeffrey. Mm, or <laughs> maybe sorting through a pile of their junk mail looking for pharmacy coupons. Okay, those are very uh, big extremes yeah. there. Yeah. I'm saying the activity should probably <laughs> fall somewhere in between okay, those good. two. Okay, good. All right. And one of our listeners named Natalie recently had a date with a guy that maybe wasn't the most thrilling idea ever. Oh, no, that means it's terrible. Well, let's find out. Natalie, on the excitement scale, from 1 to 10, where would you rank your date? On the excitement scale, I would rank it a 3 because it was very low-key. Okay, Okay. and is that a good thing for you? For a first date, yeah. Okay. Um, And so what's the name of this guy that you want us to call today? His name's Eric. And how'd you meet him? Met him online. I always wonder, like, how do you pick who you're actually going to go out with? Like, what about this guy said, all right, he's worth meeting in person? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's online dating, so it's all going to be visual at first. And uh, what stood out to me the most was that he looks a lot like that oldest Jonas brother. Like, oh, not is that Nick or whatever, Joe, like the other guy. Oh, yeah. Nick, Kevin. Joe. Is it Kevin? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Who knows? Yes. Who cares, Joe. honestly? <laughs> Who always has a really bad facial hair. Yeah. You have a thing for that one. Well, I mean, I think he's really good looking. Hmm. <laughs> you, should, you should check out Nick Jonas's videos for... <laughs> Just for your viewing pleasure, I should I, recommend that. I get it. Like, I dated a guy who I thought looked like a white trash version of Justin Timberlake. There you know, you like, you're not all the way there, yeah. okay? But it's close enough we all to have someone our types. who's hot. We all have yeah. our types. All right, so your type is the old Jonas brother. <laughs> now, so what did you guys do for your date? Well, the goal was to go to his favorite bar. And he was saying they have great food and drinks, and it's kind of, like, theme-oriented. Mm-hmm. When we got there, we had found that it had been closed down for rodent infestation. Oh. So, yeah. The, the and now that deterred you from going in? <laughs> of course it did. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it was closed, so, yeah, we couldn't get in. Mm. Missed out there, but, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's like, how many rats? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. What I mean, I'm picturing make? like a Beauty and the Beast type thing no! where like the rodents are dancing <laughs> and serving you things. They but... have ratatouille yes. with rats yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> Not every month into that. <laughs> what would you do own. instead? <laughs> so we go to his apartment and we get inside and he has this massive, like size of a coffee table puzzle. Huh. And I know that that sounds lame, but I am super into puzzles too. Oh my I... gosh. Oh. No, that sounds cool. A puzzle. I heard puggle. I thought she had a huge dog. Dog, like puzzles. Okay, puzzles. Okay. Right. So, he had like a 3,000 piece puzzle dang. on his coffee table. I, that is not what I expected <laughs> at all. I thought that you were setting this up like in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, this guy knew that the bar was going to be closed and he just wanted to get you back to your, his house, did a quick 7-Eleven trip, and then he walks you into a puzzle. Yeah. yeah. Were you shocked? I would have been shocked. <laughs> Honestly, I was kind of pleasantly shocked. Yeah. yeah. Because this is kind of turning out to be a really cool, <laughs> low-key date. Man, it's, it's Natalie's that... the ideal woman that's just, like, not <laughs> disappointed by anything that you do. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, like, it's kind of an ideal situation. Because if you're sitting down at a puzzle, you have something else to focus on, so there's no, like, awkward silence. Mm-hmm. But then it's, like, a really good chance for you guys to talk. How did that go? I mean, it it went really good. It was flowing really, really well. At one point, like, I found this puzzle piece, and I put it in place, and he, like, lost his mind. He was like, I have been trying to figure this out for days now. <laughs> he jumps up, and he kisses me. Oh, really? Ooh, this puzzle's yeah. getting hot. That's right. Wow. Okay. Put your jig in my saw. I got oh, Is that God. how? Get it? Oh, my God. Yeah, no, we get saw. it. We get it. Okay. <laughs> So, he kisses you for finding the right puzzle piece. That's romantic. Yeah. Honestly, it was a really good first date. It really was. And I went home. I was just giving him all of the signals I possibly could, saying how great the date was Uh and how I'm excited to see him again. And he was also giving that back as well. Mm. And he hasn't called you at all? No. Um, Mm. So we've texted like a couple of times over the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. And the last response that I got from him, I was asking like, you know, hey, you know, you want to get together and work some more on the puzzle? And he just responded with no thanks, busy. Whoa. Yikes. So after what you describe as such a good date, like what do you think would cause that reaction? 
I mean, the only thing that comes to mind, if I'm going to nitpick about everything about the date, was when we got to his favorite place and we noticed it was closed. I was like, oh, my gosh, thank God we didn't go here. That's so disgusting. Yeah, Yeah, his favorite spot you're (laughs) poo-pooing on. I could see how he could possibly be angry. Sometimes, you know, like something happens, you don't really think about it in the moment, and then you stew on it later, and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. That sucked. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say it's puzzling. (laughs) Ah, Another one. I like it. I'm I'm in. Let's end on that one. (laughs) Okay. We're going to play a song, come back, call Eric, and maybe we can get you guys to play Scrabble or something together. Okay? (laughs) That would be great. (laughs) I'm sure it would be. (laughs) Just hold on, Natalie. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for the second date update, it's like one of those love stories that you see in the movies. Hmm. Not the blockbuster movies in theaters, but the straight to DVD (laughs) ones. Where the love interest is like Christian Slater in his 50s. Oh, yeah. Basically, Natalie feels like she met a guy who's like the missing piece in her life. God, so many puzzle analogies. Out of thousands of options out there, he's the one that just fits perfectly in that space that she's been searching for. Uh You know, whenever she gets bored, Uh there's a game and a guy that she can turn to for relief. It's almost like, uh, what's that called? Yeah, A puzzle! Battleship. Yeah. Just like okay. Battleship. Just, He's the okay. battleship to her aircraft carrier. Is that right, Natalie? That's 100% right. That's right. I knew I'd, I nailed it with that Dude, one. She's with it. I love Dude, it. That was like 10 puzzle jokes. Back I, back. I know. It was really good. I don't good. know what you're talking about. I'm just describing their date. <laughs> Basically, Natalie met a guy named Eric online who she describes as looking like the least famous Jonas brother. I yep. his Kevin. Name again. Kevin. Kevin. Thank but, you. Right. Me. But his name is Eric. And they didn't get to go to the bar they wanted to because it was closed down. So instead, they went back to his apartment and played puzzles. Is that how you say it? No, I think you did a, I think you do a puzzle. You, you do, they did a puzzle yeah, together. Yeah, there it is. They shared a uh-huh. puzzle <laughs> together. And and but then, she ra- yeah. you rated it really high, though, Natalie, right? You liked it. I did. I liked it a lot. She liked see? it better than the original date they had planned. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're going to try and call up Eric and see if we can <sighs> get him to do another puzzle with you. How are you feeling? I'm... I'm excited to find out what's been going on because I've been so baffled by all of this. Right, because your description does not match what he texted you, which was something about, like, basically, don't ever talk to me again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've even, like, reached out to my girlfriends. I'm like, okay, am I missing something? Like, what's going on here? You are missing something. Ooh, I love Definitely. when we have a group of girls invested in this. <laughs> Let's do it. Brooks like, dead. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're going to call Eric right now and try and get your second date update, all right? Okay. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Eric, please? This is he. Hi, Eric. How you doing? My name is Young Jeffrey. I work on the radio. Do you have a moment to speak with us? Uh, Okay. Okay. (laughs) Yes. Well, we're doing something on our show called a second date update. That's where if you go out on a date with someone and afterwards they're not calling you back, they can reach out to us and we'll try and figure out the reason why. Okay. So we're calling on behalf of a girl named Natalie. Wow. Uh, So you remember going out with Natalie. She wants to know, why aren't you calling her back? She feels like she had a really good time with you. Wow. So you're calling me to find out. (laughs) Okay. Um, (laughs) Yeah, we went out. It was cool. That was a question mark at the end of that? (laughs) I mean, I don't know. I feel like when we talked to her, she was really excited about you. We should break down the date for you maybe piece by piece. Okay. I know you're into that stuff. Yeah, he is. I see. I see. We heard that you met her online. Yeah. And that you were supposed to go to one of your favorite bars, but unfortunately it was closed down. So instead, you guys grabbed some drinks and went back to your apartment and did a puzzle together. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. I don't know how (laughs) you know all that. Well, she told us. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, that still is just weird. But, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what we did. And the shocking, the most shocking part to me was that you actually had a puzzle back at your place. I thought for sure you had set the whole thing up like you knew the bar was going to be closed just as an excuse to get her back to your house. No, 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 no. (laughs) No, I did not know the bar was going to be closed. And yeah, I love puzzles. She said that she was really surprised, but she had a great time with you. So with all this good news, what's the reason that you're not talking to her? 
I mean, we did have a really good time. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much she told you. I just I told you she... what she told us. <laughs> but we'd like you to fill in the missing pieces for us. Hey! Well, missing pieces is kind of what it's all about. Like, Yeah, what are they? Well, I would like to know where they are. Huh. There are two pieces missing from my puzzle. Wait, what? They're not in my apartment. So that means she had to have taken them. Wait. <laughs> what? Are you accusing her of stealing puzzle pieces? I mean, I don't want to just come out and accuse somebody of stealing puzzle pieces. I'm just saying we were there. We did the puzzle. I'm working on this puzzle every day. It's right <laughs> in my living room. There are two pieces that are gone. So she's the only person who's been there. Oh. So. <laughs> you sure you didn't lose them, bro? Wait, Those things what? fall and go under carpet? Why and... do you think she would take puzzle pieces? Exactly. Why would somebody take puzzle pieces? You have any idea how infuriating no, that is? What, what, what would be in it for her? Wait, she can see him again. I just figured it out. If she holds him for ransom, he has to call her. It's, it's a... not like a guy's sweater. It's no. a piece of the Empire State <laughs> Building or whatever he's building. They're... What are you talking about? She would have told us that if that was her plan She's when we talked to her. Up. She's setting us no. up too. Yeah, I don't know why somebody would do that. It's really not cool. Uh, but what if the box came without the piece? Pieces. I mean, there's a lot of other explanations, right? Like, what if, I don't know, some factory worker that put it all together was playing a prank on you from the beginning and it has nothing to do with her? Mm, no, I counted them. They were all there. <laughs> See, he's serious. You counted About them? Did you look inside your vacuum? Because you said you vacuumed your floor. Oh. I did. I did. Oh, you did. You I believe that from a man who actually counts the puzzle pieces. <laughs> oh that God. is crazy. I actually emptied out the vacuum bag and went through it for like half an hour. <gasps> Nothing was in there. Oh. Guarantee you that the only explanation is that she's got them. That's maniacal if she really took this. I know. <laughs> well, I feel like maybe we should ask the accused puzzle thief herself. Absolutely. Yeah. And Eric, Natalie is actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. What? Natalie? Yeah, surprise. Hi, Eric. Hi. Whoa. <laughs> that came in hot. Oh, my God. Are, hey. Are you kidding? You think that I stole two puzzle pieces to hold them a ransom? <laughs> it makes sense. I don't know about holding ransom, but I'm pretty sure that you got the pieces. <gasps> You're pretty sure. You know what? I didn't take them because I have better things to do with my life than take puzzle pieces. <laughs> uh, you just instantly jump to the conclusion, oh, I can't find two puzzle pieces. Oh, Natalie must have taken them. I couldn't have, I don't know, misplaced them since it took you how many days to find the piece that I found in an hour? Oh, <laughs> now you're coming after his oh, puzzling skills, low, Eric. Uh, that's a really low blow. You saw me working. I'm good at puzzles. This is like my whole, this is what I do. Can't say that. He's sure. the puzzle guy. Oh, yeah, sure. You're really good at puzzles. I'm not going to deny that, but maybe I'm better. Oh, oh. that's messed up. I see what you're doing. You're just saying that so you can come back to the apartment, plant them, and then say, look, I'm better than you. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric, I think you need to slow down. I don't think anybody is that competitive with puzzles that she would come back and plant them just so she could defeat you in your puzzle game. You'd be surprised. She's super sketchy. She's taking these things, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I don't know who's telling the what? truth. I don't know. I, Actually, I'm completely blown away that I haven't had the cops coming to knock on my door because you called them about your missing two pieces of your freaking puzzle. Not yet they haven't. I definitely considered calling them, so you're lucky I didn't. Okay, you oh, guys. No, you both yeah. So you considered this... calling the police, but you never considered calling me and saying, hey, Natalie, I'm a grown man, and I was wondering, did you by a chance accidentally take two pieces of my puzzle? <laughs> Eric, you liked Natalie. She liked you. You guys had a really good connection. You're blowing this way out of proportion, man. Yeah, you should put, like, a missing sign up in your neighborhood with pictures of the missing puzzle pieces. <laughs> it might help you find it better. It's a centerpiece. <laughs> always is, Jose. Yeah, always yeah. is. Corners are easy. I think the only thing I can do at this point is ask Natalie, would you be willing to take a lie detector test to know once and for all if you did or didn't take the puzzle pieces. I mean, I know that I didn't, but I'll do it just to prove to Mr. Eric over here that I didn't do it. All right, Eric. Hey, there you go, Eric. That's a pretty strong statement from her. Yeah. Are you just paying for this test? Because if you are, I'm in. No. Right, can we well, do that? We'll, I mean... we'll pay for the cheapest version of it. Yeah. No. We're not going to do the FBI one because I
because I think that one's pretty pricey. But we'll, <laughs> like a we'll, dollar store polygraph. No, we'll do like the mall security uh, <laughs> lie detector test if they let us use that. If you guys are serious, let's f- do this. Okay. All right, Natalie, what do you say? You and Eric oh go to the mall and take a lie detector test behind Kohl's together. Dude, that is a good way to meet. And then they can buy another puzzle at the yeah. mall. Yep. Um, you know what? I'll go and do this test just to prove a point, and then uh, that can be it. You know what? This is so stupid. No, we're miracle workers. <laughs> We just brought two people together, much like two pieces of a puzzle. Hey! Yeah. Bringing them together. Bravo! You did it again! Actually, yeah. we're the puzzle experts, it turns out. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is that there's still a puzzle thief on the loose, you guys. <laughs> we somewhere. haven't caught them yet. <laughs> That's true. I'm serious. Listen, if anybody out there has seen either of these two puzzle pieces, please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get right on that, Eric. Moving 92.5.